Hey everybody. I know it's been a while. Um, been kind of busy. So I've already dusted a few things and I'm kind of trying to figure out what I want to do. I'm pretty sure that these are going to be in black. However, um, I will be using my Cast and Craft um, pigment, the opaque black pink, or excuse me, the pigment for the background. Um, I've got a lot of different things that I want to do. I have a sale coming up on Saturday here in Philippi, and I am hoping that you guys could come out and see me. Um, I'll be downtown at the courthouse lawn somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where at yet. However, um, I am really, really looking forward to going down there and setting up and hopefully selling some of my items. So before we get started, I want to show you all what I ordered off of Timu recently. Um, this is a holographic. I'm not sure if. No, oh, there it is. Nice little flash of the holographic. Um, it's down inside the actual mold itself. Let's see where it there it is. Open it up real quick. <clears throat> I'm hoping to be able to make a couple or a set of at least one set of posters before Saturday. But we'll see. So there it is, partially out of the packaging. And you can see a real pretty hoping the camera pulls it up. I can see a real pretty holographic finish on some of these spots in these molds. So I'm hoping that it pulls that up. Um, but anyway, so we got those. Possibly doing something with them. Um, if not today or tomorrow, the future video will be coming with those. Um, ordered some of these. These are actually tattoos, temporary tattoos, and there are a lot of these. I plan on using these in a very near future for different pieces. Um, I've got some very large molds that I can put these on, or into, I should say. So we have those, and I can't remember if these were supposed to be stickers or if they're just little plastic flowers. But these are so, so cute. And it looks like they may be a bit holographic as well. So I'm going to try and incorporate a few of these. Those are real pretty rows. Into some of my work. There you go. And I like that these are not very big. So those will be in future videos as well. Also, before we get started these up here. I purchased some dehydration beads, I think is, I'm not sure what the heck to call them. And I put them in this bowl with one of my roses out of my own flower bed, and it has dried absolutely beautifully. Like it's nice, and I've just got to be real careful with it. And over here, is a miniature rosebud that I put in here oh, a couple weeks ago. Might go out and see if I have any more. Ouch! Still has thorns. Ow. And apparently they come out very easily. Woo! That was not a very nice thing to have happen. But it's just a little thing. Maybe a half inch long and I'd like to do something with that later. So those are just some ideas that I've come up with over the last few weeks. Um, and back to today's stuff. Again, I'm using the Cast and Craft Opaque Black Pigment Concentrate. Uh, I have only used it a couple times. So far I have mixed reviews on that because I'm not sure if I really like it or not. So if you guys have a better type of pigment that you like more, let me know. Um, I can't remember 
any of the other brands that other people that I follow, such as Wendy from Toonpish, Julie at Pouring Your Heart Out, uh, Daniel Cooper, I think is his name. They follow different, I follow a lot of different individuals here on Facebook and um, YouTube. So with that being said, I am going to pause here in just a moment. And I believe I'm going to use the J. Diction today. High gloss epoxy resin. Part A. Part B is a one-to-one, -one, yellow resistant, non-toxic, non-flammable. Um, I've had a really good success rate with these. So that is what we're using today is the Jade Diction. So I'm going to put you on pause and I'm going to mix up my resin. And I'm going to do black in these and in this really cute little earring holder. As you can see, I've already dusted it. Wish I could remember what colors I used, but I'm hoping it turns out as pretty as what it looks now. And then, of course, here's the base. Dusted it in this really beautiful chameleon powder for the whole thing. And then I have these. And I need to find my mold base and try to do something with it. So I will put you back, or put you on pause, and I will be back here in just a couple moments. Okay. I've decided I'm going to do 16 ounces on here. As you can see, I had to actually color it in because I can't see those numbers very well. So, without further ado, um, I do mine by volume, not by weight. I know a lot of people do it the other way around, and that's okay. Perfectly good. Alright, so I'm going to do, if I can find the number, alright, 8 is between the green and the red. Okay, so we're going to do 8 and 8, to the best of our abilities. A little bit more. That'll about do it. Alright, so there's 8 ounces of B. Again, this is a J Diction. High gloss. And make sure I don't mess up like the last time and do different brands, but I don't think it really matters. As long as they get mixed up good. And we're going to do eight ounces of A. Alright, so, and because I don't want, or probably, yeah, I'm going to have too much, I know, and that's alright. So, we are going to go ahead and add the block to this before we even start to stir. Don't want to come out. Six. So bear with me, everybody. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten for now. Alright, we'll start with that. Set that there. And I do have, even though that isn't opaque, I do have. A little bit of um, black marble by Baltic Day. I still have some of that, so if I want, I can add some of that to it. Bear with me for just a second. Let me start my timer. Okay, got the timer started. So, and I know this black <laughs> isn't going to be enough, at least not yet. Um, we have four minutes of stir time. I might do a little longer. We'll see. That's a lot of resin. That is a lot 
of resin. But We will get there. Now, my, I guess you call it Resin Studio, is currently in my office for my main business, which is Face Sweet Addiction Apiary. Um, however, I'm thinking very seriously about moving everything around and going moving upstairs because in the summer, or in the wintertime, excuse me, it is not very warm in, down here in this room. And it is almost always nice and warm upstairs. So we'll have to wait and see what goes on with that. <laughs> All right. It's definitely not enough black in there. So we'll go ahead and stir this. I've uh, got about two and a half minutes to go. And like I said, I already know this is going to be way too much resin. So... I may have to break out another couple small molds or something to fill in where I have a lot of this resin left over. And I am perfectly okay with that. Now, I'm going to try and put some stuff into these, but I don't know. It may not be as much as what I think in here, even though there's like 16 ounces of resin. And that's okay too, because I can always make more. You can't take it out, but you can always make more. So, <clears throat> I'm trying to be thorough without incorporating too many bubbles. And as anybody who does resin knows that sometimes that is not necessarily the easiest thing to do but still makes it a lot of fun try to script this off really well now I do get a lot of my molds off Timu right now just simply because they are cheaper but I'm pretty sure that I've just recently ordered a couple more molds from Julie's Amazon store here in the States. I ordered, if I remember correctly, it is the um, the nine Puffy Hearts and I can't remember what the other one was. Right, there's 10, there's 11. Why are you being difficult? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Alright, so we'll clean the top of that off for next time. And put that over there and we'll stir this up a little bit more the timer has already went off for three minutes but I got a little bit of a late start so that's okay we'll mix it up a little bit more because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna add some of the mica powder to it as well just to add a little shimmer um, really don't need them but I do need it for the color it'll also help make the, uh, the pigments blend a little better. Guys, you're going to have to overlook me. I can't talk today. Alright, so... All right, we'll use one of these little scoopy things. I'm going to have to do another order for Baltic Day because I am almost out of my black mica powder. So I need to look and see if I can find any more. Alright. <clears throat> now like I said, this will add a little shimmer, but it will also make it look a little bit darker, in my opinion. 
and that's kind of where I'm going with this. I don't want to add too much because obviously with these two different things we have the, the coasters and then we have the earring holder, jewelry holder or whatever you call it. And you're not really going to see a whole lot of the resin. It will mostly be the mica powders on the top. Now with these four doesn't really matter what you put in there, it's going to have that real pretty holographic finish. And it will show up really pretty, I think, on the shimmery black background. At least I'm hoping it does. Try to scrape the color off the sides and it doesn't want to work so much. Sometimes these spatulas just really don't do what you want them to. So if Julie or Wendy or Daniel or any of the other people that I've followed or have commented on your your videos, Marva from Marvelous Artsy, um, if you guys happen to see this, you know, please, please leave me a comment and give me your opinion. Be brutally honest. Doesn't matter who you are. Be brutally honest. If you like the stuff, awesome. If not, let me know. I'm okay with that. A little alcohol. And I'm going to clean this up real quick. Because I don't want it getting real sticky and having to worry about cleaning it up before the next use anyway. Okay. So, what I want to do next, get an empty little cup, because this is so flexible and bendy that when I start to pour with it, it will actually run down the side here. And I don't want that to happen, because that just it wastes a lot of resin. So, just kind of go like that for a moment. And make sure it's on my mat. The first piece I want to really concentrate on is my earring holder. I think this is a beautiful piece and there's a good bit of detail to it, I think. And if I don't talk a lot, it's because I'm pouring. And I tend to get sidetracked really easy with that. Like I said, I have never used this particular mold before. And we're just going to kind of let the resin do and go wherever the resin wants to go. As if I can keep it inside the little places where it needs to be. Because I have a tendency sometimes to dribble and to over pour. And I know anyone who's ever done resin understands what that's like. So, all right. A little bit more in her head. I think this is supposed to be like a tree of life mold. Really wasn't much of a description on that. But. I don't want to get it too full on this end, so we're going to let that settle and pour what's left out of the cup into this base piece. Even though I know it's not going to be enough for that just yet. Get back in there. And we'll add a little bit more to our paper cup. doesn't look like I'm going to need very much more for the main earring piece, the jewelry display piece. Um, might even need to lift it up on one edge a little more, but we'll see what happens. It doesn't look quite like it's level. Of course, I haven't, like I said, I haven't done 
any resin for quite a while since last video. So we will see what happens. Right, we'll add a little bit more and just let it go where it wants to. Even the little cups can run down the edges a smidge. Oh. Doesn't help when you stick your fingers in there, does it? Good thing I was going to pour black into that one, too. Alright. So we will leave it just the way it is for now. I want to check. Alright, we are at... Uh, 11 minutes. Okay, I'm not too bad. Pour the rest of this in with the pumpkin, I think. And the rest of this should fit into... And I can make this one into a necklace for Halloween. Or I can make an earring with it. Or not an earring, a key ring. Oh, dear. Okay. So... I need to put a toothpick under the end of that, I think. Alright, and then there's still quite a bit of resin in there, so I may need to figure out a little bit of something else to do. But we will see. See, the reason I'm going to prop that base up a little bit, and I don't want to dome this one, because if I this is actually going to be the bottom. I guess I could fill it. Because these two little pieces here will fit inside these two little ones here. So I probably could fill that up, but I'm going to leave it the way it is for now. Alright, now, I have been waiting and waiting to do these coasters. So we'll do those next, I think. Pour some more resin into the paper cup. Thankfully, it has not started getting warm yet. But it won't take too much longer, I'm sure. Give that another stir. Make sure the mic is not going to settle in the bottom. All right. All right, so we will pour right in the center. Nice and easy. Push it back just a little bit. I think these only use about an ounce and a half, maybe. However, I'm not 100% sure on that. I might not even have enough resin to finish these off, to be honest, now that I'm looking at it, which is unexpected. I was pretty sure that was going to have way too much, but we'll see. All right. Pour some more in my cup. Wipe off my glove. And we'll start right here in the middle on this one. They may hold about two ounces. I'm not sure. It's been a long time since I've used these. And I'm thinking these are two ounce cups, but I'm not filling them all the way to the top either. So... We'll see what happens. All right, I made 16 and I am down to about 10. So, I might have enough to do another couple. Should. We should. And again, guys, if you want to leave a comment or send me a question, or, you know, whatever you want to do, 
Let me know that you're watching. Give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I'm a new resin artist. And this actually is a very nice way for me to relieve typical daily stress here in the household. So if y'all could just let me know that you've seen my videos, I would greatly appreciate it more than what you could even imagine. A little bit of more on those two. All right, and some more down in the cup. And by the way, I don't know if anybody else has figured it out, for those of you who do resin. I always spray out my silicone mixing bowls and my wooden sticks with some isopropyl alcohol and it really helps to make things come clean very quickly. So for anybody who's new at it, don't just end up throwing your stuff away because you're clueless. Watch a bunch of videos and you know look for different ways to get your stuff clean. Like I said, the alcohol really truly does a a tremendous amount of work that you that will reduce the work that you have to do to clean up your molds and your your mixing supplies. Okay. All right. So that'll do it for those. Awesome. And I have approximately um we'll say roughly six ounces left. So depending on how much each of those holographic molds take, I might be able to do all four, but I may not. But it's not a big deal. Because I can always mix up a little bit more and go from there. So I think I'm going to go with the ghosts. Trying to not move it too quickly. Because I want to make sure that I reduce the chance of getting any bubbles that I can. And sometimes, no matter what you do, you still get around the edges and stuff. Okay, um, we'll do Castle and all of its batty little friends. I may have overfilled that one a little much. Now, you can see the really fine texture down in here. So I'm going to stop for a moment and I'm going to get this little fingernail tool thing and try and push it very carefully down into those little crevices. And hopefully, she can still actually see that, so that helps. I'm trying to not touch the, the bottom of the mold too much, because I don't want to mess up that hologram, or holograph, excuse me. Hologram, holograph. Okay, so there's that. So we're going to keep on and see what we can do with the rest of this. I like that it's still somewhat transparent. I actually really like that. I'm not sure why, but I like it. Okay, so. I'm going to call that one done. Um, actually, the one in the back might need more here in a little bit. That's okay. We'll fix that if we need to. May only be able to do one more. <clears throat> Let's see. Do.
And we'll wait just a couple minutes because that. Actually, I'm going to use this. Use the silicone tip on that one and help to kind of draw that through the lines. Fewer chances of bubbles. And it's so transparent right now with just that little bit. I can actually still see where I'm going and where I'm going to push this through at. And I can also just kind of follow the little offshoots. And essentially what I'm trying to do is get enough started in these little pieces here that it should theoretically push any possible bubbles out of these little tiny nooks and crannies. At least that's what I'm hoping for. If anyone else has done this or used these molds and has a better way and maybe have some suggestions, that would be really, really awesome because that would help out another resin artist. And you know, we can help each other out a little bit. Again, I'm here in West Virginia and the weather has been up till the last few days. We have had a major drought and it's probably the worst one we've had in, I don't know, 15 or 20 years. But I have seen a lot worse. But, you know, we've had, oh gosh, 80, 90 degree weather, no rain until the last few days. And so now we're getting a little bit of rain. And it's starting to green up again just in time for the hunting season, I guess. I guess uh, bow season's currently in here as of last Saturday. Today is October 3rd, I think. And, uh, leave that there. So, yeah, we were already into bow season for hunters. And before you know it, Christmas holidays will be here. All right, back to the resin. There's some more little lines for some spider web. Just kind of pushing that into all these little spaces and nooks and crannies and off branches of everything that's in here. All right, so it is currently pretty cold in my office. Well, office slash resin art room. And I think before I turned my heat over one, it might have been, oh gosh, maybe 60 some degrees in here Fahrenheit for those who are overseas and I'm not sure what we use. But uh, I got a little kitty cat over here hiding when the witch's broom. But anyway, yeah, it's the last few days, well, nights especially, has been pretty cool. But it's been very nice, very lovely sleep weather. Oops, don't want to get that on the outside. Alright guys, I may have just enough to finish these off. That is awesome. Alright, see so that little broom handle there. A couple little spots for the hideaway bubbles. We got the cat up here. Before I add anything else, I'm just going to kind of dab around and try to get some of those off there. Alright, so. Now, probably just going to finish this off onto that one little uh, coaster there. And I've got just a tiny bit left in here, so I can go back through. And if I think that, you know, 
any of these guys need a little bit more resin I have a tiny bit left I can work with looks like 16 ounces was the perfect perfect number all right bend down here and see if anybody needs some more because it is starting to get a little thicker and I don't want to mess around with this too much longer So, there's that, and we're just going to scrape out what's left in the cup, and put it in the little one, and whatever's left that I don't use is going to be minimal, absolutely, positively, amazingly minimal. I don't make a mess. Like I said, this is already starting to get a little thicker, but it has not gotten very warm yet. And I think it's because my room has not quite warmed up. So this might take a day or so to cure. I'm hoping it doesn't, but we'll see. All right, I'll clean that up here in a minute. Get the resin off my hands. A little bit of alcohol on my glove. Get it all cleaned off. And go back and see who might need a little bit more. a bit more. Oh, not too much. And I'm going to go ahead, I think, and fill this up since it's the bottom of the base. I'll at least try to fill it up. That way none of this goes to waste. I apologize for my arm being in the way. Sometimes it's difficult for me to see what I'm doing. Alright, so that's all that's left in there. Uh, let's see. Yep. We pretty much used it all. So 16 ounces for this, guys, was the perfect magic number for this set of molds. All right. So I'm hoping that they turn out as nice as what they should. And again, like I said, I know... I've tried to make this video as short as possible, and I'm not very good at editing, so I hope you can be patient with me. And while I'm cleaning this up, here in a second, I will give those a real quick torch. Real quick. Um, matter of fact, I'm not going to torch that one. I'll just spray it with alcohol. Because... There are too many delicate areas on that, and I don't want them to stick and tear up my mold for the first use. But clean off my stick, and I will use that again at a later date. And like I said, I always, always use alcohol to spritz in here, and it just literally wipes it clean. No muss, no fuss. It's ready to go for the next round. So, that. All right, everybody. I'm going to finish cleaning this off off camera. Um, I did tell you I was going to do a little torch. 
I got these little things off of Amazon and I'm trying to set up my affiliate Amazon affiliate thing but I have not yet got it taken care of completely yet so I will try and at least give you a description of what they are in the description below so hopefully I can unmold these tomorrow and 16 ounces perfectly filled them this one's probably a little under but um that's not a big deal but all right everyone that's it for right now have a blessed evening and happy halloween later hey everybody i know it's been a while um been kind of busy so i've already dusted a few things and i'm kind of trying to figure out what I want to do. I'm pretty sure that these are going to be in black. However, um, I will be using my Cast and Craft um, pigment, the opaque black pink, or excuse me, the pigment for the background. Um, I've got a lot of different things that I want to do. I have a sale coming up on Saturday here in Philippi. And I'm hoping that you guys could come out and see me. Um, I'll be downtown at the courthouse lawn somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where at yet. However, um, I am really, really looking forward to going down there and setting up and hopefully selling some of my items. So before we get started, I want to show you all what I ordered off of Timu recently. Um, this is a holographic, I'm not sure if, no, there it is, nice little flash of the holographic, um, it's down inside the actual mold itself, let's see where it, there it is, open it up real quick, <clears throat> I'm hoping to be able to make a couple, or a set of, at least one set of posters before Saturday, but we'll see, so, there it is, partially out of the packaging. And you can see a real pretty, hoping the camera pulls it up. I can see a real pretty holographic finish on some of these spots in these molds. So I'm hoping that it pulls that up. Um, but anyway, so we got those, possibly doing something with them. Um, if not today or tomorrow, the future video will be coming with those. Um, ordered some of these. These are actually tattoos, temporary tattoos, and there are a lot of these. I plan on using these in a very near future for different pieces. Um, I've got some very large molds that I can put these on, or into, I should say. So we have those and I can't remember if these are supposed to be stickers or if they're just little plastic flowers but these are so so cute and it looks like they may be a bit holographic as well so I'm going to try and incorporate a few of these those are real pretty rose into some of my work there you go and I like that these are not very big so those will be and in future videos as well. Also, before we get started, these up here. I purchased some dehydration beads, I think is I'm not sure what the heck to call them. And I put them in this bowl with one of my roses out of my own flower bed, and it has dried absolutely beautifully. Like it's nice and just got to be real careful with it. And over here is a miniature rosebud that I put in here oh, a couple weeks ago. Might go out and see if I have any more. Ouch! Still has thorns. Ow. And apparently they come out very easily. Woo! That was not a very nice thing to have happen. 
but it's just a little thing. Maybe a half inch long. And I'd like to do something with that later. So those are just some ideas that I've come up with over the last few weeks. Um, and back to today's stuff. Again, I'm using the Cast and Craft Opaque Black Pigment Concentrate. Uh, I have only used it a couple times. So far I've mixed reviews on that because I'm not sure if I really like it or not. So if you guys have a better type of pigment that you like more, let me know. Um, I can't remember any of the other brands that other people that I follow, such as Wendy from Toonpish, Julie at Pouring Your Heart Out, uh, Daniel Cooper, I think is his name. They follow different, I follow a lot of different individuals here on Facebook and um, YouTube. So with that being said, I am going to pause here in just a moment. And I believe I'm going to use the J Diction today. High gloss epoxy resin. Part A. Part B is a one-to-one, -one, yellow resistant, non-toxic, non-flammable. Um, I've had a really good success rate with these. So that is what we're using today is the Jade Diction. So I'm going to put you on pause and I'm going to mix up my resin. And I'm going to do black in these and in this really cute little earring holder. As you can see, I've already dusted it. Wish I could remember what colors I used, but I'm hoping it turns out as pretty as what it looks now. And then, of course, here's the base. Dusted it, and it's really beautiful chameleon powder for the whole thing. And then I have these. And I need to find my mold base and try to do something with it. So I will put you back, or put you on pause, and I will be back here in just a couple moments. Okay. I've decided I'm going to do 16 ounces on here. As you can see, I had to actually color it in because I can't see those numbers very well. So, without further ado, um, I do mine by volume, not by weight. I know a lot of people do it the other way around, and that's okay. Perfectly good. All right, so I'm going to do, if I can find the number, all right, eight is between the green and the red. Okay, so we're going to do eight and eight, to the best of our abilities. A little bit more. That'll about do it. All right, so there's eight ounces of B. Again, this is a J Diction. High gloss. And make sure I don't mess up like the last time and do different brands, but I don't think it really matters. As long as they get mixed up good. And we're going to do eight ounces of A. Alright, so, and because I don't want, or probably, I'm going to have too much, I know, and that's alright. So, we are going to go ahead and add the block to this before we even start to stir. Bear with me, everybody. Seven, eight, nine, ten for now. All right, we'll 
I'll start with that, set that there. And I do have, even though that isn't opaque, I do have a little bit of um, black marble by Baltic Day. I still have some of that, so if I want, I can add some of that to it. Bear with me for just a second. Let me start my timer.